Jacob is back at it, here to give everyone another Dexter New Blood episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. I was able to watch Dexter New Blood early due to the fact that I have the Showtime channel on Amazon. So if you're not caught up to the point where I am re-watching or watching Dexter New Blood, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title. Which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further, simply to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter New Blood, episode 2. The title of this episode is called Storm of Fuck. This will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So Dexter, he wonders what he should say to the son that he abandoned years ago. After talking to Harrison for just a few minutes, Dexter learns that Hannah had died of cancer three years previously. Really? They're going to kill Hannah off screen? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Is Hannah really dead? Or did Harrison kill Hannah? Lots of questions there. Not sure what I think about that. And then Harrison tells Dexter that he found him through a Instagram post that Fred, the guy that works with Dexter at the, the bait, gun, whatever store, and then Deb, through, of course, the vision that nobody else sees, tells Dexter that he's going to fuck Harrison up. And then the... The police set up camp at Dexter's to look for uh, Matt Qua Caldwell, because obviously Matt Caldwell is missing. Uh, they're not going to find him alive, though, of course. And then Angela, De Dexter's new love interest, uh, finds out uh, that Dexter has a son, Harrison, which she did not know of, because Dexter was pretty private about his past with Angela, apparently. And she seems rather annoyed that Dexter has kept that from her. Um, Deb laughs and makes fun of Dexter for going back to the scene of the crime. Uh, the, Inter the Indian reservation people are uh, mad that everyone is so concerned with uh, the Matt Caldwell case, uh, but they didn't, uh, they didn't show much concern about Iris. Don't know who that is. It's obviously somebody connected to Angela because it's something touchy. They, Wanted to mention it a few times so it sticks in our head. And uh, it certainly got my attention. Dexter lets Harrison uh, feed the goats. Nothing really important there. Deb, when Dexter goes in the truck, screams at Dexter. Um, and then um, Har Harrison becomes pretty... I don't want to say close, but pretty... All of a sudden they're friends, just like that, with... Uh, Audrey. And then Audrey, Harrison, and all the, some of the other kids go to this, this camp on the Indian Reservation when they were supposed to look for Matt Caldwell or any evidence of Matt Caldwell. And they just hang out. Um, some of them smoke. I believe it was some pot, I think. And Harrison's like, no, no, I was, I was really bad on that stuff and I'm in recovery or something like that he mentioned. They go through his stuff at one point when he goes to get more wood for the fire because he's freezing. Uh, he doesn't mention it, doesn't say anything about it, because he sees them do it. So that's interesting there. Something's not right about Harrison. I Is this really Harrison? Not sure. And then Angela actually tells Dexter that uh, she's not Audrey's biological mother. So that's an interesting development. Who is Audrey's biological mother? Uh, that should be something that we'll find out at some point. Uh, more, and then we get during this episode. There's some scenes of this female that we saw in the first episode. She's in this what looks like a hotel room, kinda, and she can't get out. She screams that she wants to be let out. She was sick at one point, it seems like, but she's good now. But she can't get out of the room. And it says you'll die here or something like that, written uh, by where the surveillance camera is. So that's an interesting development. And then Harrison wonders what. Uh, Dexter meant in a letter that he wrote to to him and Hannah. Now, I don't know if this was a letter that he wrote after the finale of Dexter, or this is something that he did beforehand, like gave them a letter. I don't recall him giving a letter. I remember he had the phone call to, to Hannah, and he talked to Harrison and then threw the phone in the ocean. But he, he mentioned something about Harrison having 
dark tendencies and Harrison's really concerned about that and Dexter is honest with him saying no it's about me I have my demons I was more concerned that you would inherit them and then so they're at Dexter's place and Matt's father shows up Kirk Caldwell and he says uh he would uh Matt would have called him if he was in trouble he always calls him so he convinces all the townspeople that are there to continue the search for Matt, and that's that's how the episode ends. So, a little annoyed that Dexter doesn't uh, have his uh, his freak of the week or his victim of the week, you could say. So that's a little annoying. Obviously, I'm not happy about the news about Hannah. Whether I believe it or not, I'm not sure. But I mean, Yvonne Strahowski, the actress that played Hannah, said she wasn't coming back for Dexter New Blood. So. But if they do a second season, which who knows, I'm not sure if they're going to do a second season or not, there, that could leave the door open, at least for maybe a flashback or some. Maybe we get Rita in this, who knows. But I'm, I'm very devastated about that because I really wanted to see Hannah. I think it would, it would have been really cool if him and Hannah would have ended up together. But since he's happy with Angela, it makes sense to write Hannah off. So it probably is true. But did she die of cancer or did Harrison murder hannah now obviously they got along good in dexter but maybe harrison snapped or hannah did something who knows probably not she probably did die of cancer that was their easy way of writing her off but i i don't like that uh that death for hannah if if it comes to be true and obviously in this particular series it's very evident that deb is not there to support dexter he she's more or less haunting Dexter with some of the things that she does. So, all in all, I mean, it wasn't bad. I still like it. It's still better than most of the stuff that he did in Season 6 and Season 8. Although, I don't mind Season 8 as much as some people hate it. I'm going to give the episode a score of 8 point... Yeah, I'll, I'll give it an 8.0 out of 10. I thought it was okay, but there's some things in it that I didn't like. And I think we should have met Kurt Caldwell at the beginning of the episode to have more development with his character. And he's supposed to, from my recollection, he's supposed to be the big bad of the season. Is he the one holding that girl in that room? What? And she's being watched, obviously, on the surveillance cameras. I'm not sure. We also met this, uh, well, he was met in the last episode, this rich oil, or I don't remember what his role, but he was the pilot in Lost. Not sure what his role in the show will be, but nonetheless, I'll give it an 8.0 out of 10. A uh, pretty strong episode for Harrison. We learned a lot about him, and he seemed to get really close with Audrey uh, really, really soon. Like there was no feeling out process. They just became like best buds like that. So you've heard what I have to say now. Of course, it's your turn. First of all, if you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood, please smash that like button. If there's anybody that you know that would be interested in hearing this review or you like this review so much that you want to share this across all your social media platforms or maybe just a few of them, go ahead and do that. I would appreciate that. Make sure you sound off in the comment section about your thoughts on this episode, Storm of Fuck. What would you score it? What was your favorite moment of the episode? Uh, all that and more. And of course, last but certainly not least, I'm really trying to grow the channel. So if you're a fan of Drexter, please don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support. And be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.